I'm so excited. God has an amazing word for you all. This is a month that we're bringing forth the blessing. Yes. And the Lord spoke to me about Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. And listen, this is for you, okay? This word says that the Apostle John, he was speaking and he said, After this I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as if it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither and I will show you these things which must be hereafter. Now, when we talk about bringing forth the blessing, we need to know where that blessing first comes from. It first comes from the heavenly realms into the earth realms. And so when the Lord invited the Apostle John to come up, he said, listen, I want you to come up from where you're at in the earth to where I'm at up here, and I want you to listen to this sound. So, so it says that a door was open. He beheld in a door. That word door is a portal. So a portal opened in the heavenly realms where John went from the earth realms to the heavenly realms. It literally opened. And I believe this month God is opening these heavenly portals and he wants us to step in them, step through them. And, and how do we have access to that? Well, we have access to those heavenly portals that John is being invited to come up and join the Lord in because of what Jesus has done. Because Jesus died, buried, resurrected, and ascended. And guess what? When he ascended, after he accomplished all those tasks and shed his blood for redemption for our sins, we are now redeemed and in relationship with the Father. Once that happened, we now became seated with Christ in heavenly places. So we are now once passing through that door. We're passing through that portal into the place of the heavens. It says that there was a voice which John heard that sounded like a trumpet. That word trumpet is like a reverberation. There was a vibration. There was a sound from heaven that totally affected his being and who he was. And when he heard that voice of a trumpet, of a reverberation, he then followed and went up. And then it says immediately, this is verse two, he was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven and one who sat on the throne. Then the word begins to speak more about who sat on the throne. Well, it's Jesus sitting on the throne. He sat and he looked like Jasper in a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow around the throne in sight like an emerald. It had the strength of an emerald, this rainbow, these many colors around the purified fire, the throne of heaven. And you see, we have access to that throne every day, not because of what we do, but because of what Jesus has done for us. And he wants us, especially this month, because it's the month of miracles. It's the month where we're bringing forth the blessing to step into those places, to listen to the sound of his voice, that it might shake our souls so that we can begin to speak into the earth realms what God wants to see change. And listen, I know God wants to see some things changed in your life. I know he wants to see some things changed in your environments, in your workplace, in your neighborhood in your city, your town, your state, your nation. God wants to use you, but you got to listen for the sound, the sound that is going to shake you in such a way that you're going to feel motivated, encouraged, uplifted and ready to go forth. I just want to pray for you now because I just see in the spirit realms that God is speaking to you and he's shaking you right now. And he's saying, listen, I need you to believe me by faith that you are seated with me in heavenly places, that I am on this throne and that you have an open portal, open access to me at any time. And when you sit in that place, you release the blessings of heaven into the earth. But the Lord wants you to shake with a desire to be his voice in the earth today. You're called to be a voice in the kingdom. That's his voice in the kingdom. And so I want to just pray for you. Actually, I want to just impart to you that your ears would be open to hear the sound of that trumpet, that your eyes would be open. That word behold, as he behold the door, it, it means that he saw the open portal and was able to step into that. So I want you to be able to see in the spirit. I want you to see where you're seated. I want you to hear what God is saying to you so that you can be one that brings forth the blessing of the eternal realms, the heavenly realms into the earth space. So let me just pray for you. Father, I just praise you and I thank you right now for my friend who's watching, Lord. I thank you, Father, that at the sound of my voice, they're beginning to shake. Why? It's not my voice. It's the voice of the Lord. 
You have the voice of the Lord. That word voice in the Hebrews, the word cold, spark, fire, thunder is coming upon you right now. That shaking of the voice of the Lord is shaking you into the place of being able to have the confidence to know that you're seated with Christ in heavenly places, that you're in a realm, a zone of prosperity, so you can bring forth the blessings that God wants to see happen in the earth. Father, I thank you for my friend right now. Their faith is increasing. I, I see in the spirit your faith increasing. I see that you're getting excited. Things are getting ready to change. Miracles are getting ready to flow, just as they do this month of Kislev when we recognize the fact that the one vial of oil burned for eight days in the menorah in the temple see god's going to take what's small and he's going to enlarge it and how does he do this he brings forth the blessing when we know where we're seated who we're seated with and when we know and understand the sound of his voice i thank you father right now lord for the sound of your voice going forward i can just feel that shake right now I can feel that shake right now in your soul. I can feel that shift right now. Faith is increasing. You're getting ready to step out and declare and decree. I'm telling you right now, financial blessings are coming to you. The miracles of heaven are being released to you. Blessings are happening all around you. I know you say, Dr. Candace, I can't see this. Listen, don't worry. You see him and then he brings it forth into the earth. You position yourself from there and then it will happen. You are called to be one that changes your environments because of where you're seeing it already because of what you see already because of what you hear already so be shaken in your spirit in truth and light and you will begin to start to see the manifestations our God is a good God and he loves you so much and he is setting you up for divine increase and multiplication he's setting you up for dominion in the heavenly realms I'm excited for you already woohoo give the Lord a high five right now praise the Lord father we just thank you so much what you're doing this month you're setting us up in every way to receive the blessings from heaven. I want you to share this with a friend. Share it with a friend because somebody's in need. They need to hear the sound. They need to see the door. They need to stand in faith. I want you to hashtag stand in faith. Hashtag stand in faith. Share this with a friend. It's going to be a good day because the miracles and the blessings of heaven are coming straight to you. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. In Jesus' name. Yes, this is so awesome. Woo, powerful. My gosh, I'm feeling it right now, right where I'm seated. God is doing amazing things right now. Oh my goodness. Come on. Listen, I want you to email me. I want you to go to my website at candismithman.com and tell me how you're receiving these blessings because God is doing an amazing thing in and through you. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Glory! All right, again, share this with a friend. Hashtag stand in faith. God is shaking you now and he's bringing about a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen.